Who's coming up next? All right, I'm gonna give you guys a second to look. Put it in your phone. Yeah, see? Put it in your phone. Get ready. All right, House of Comedy, are you ready for your next comedian? Say yeah. Yeah. There we go. I like that energy. Welcome to the stage, Brent Puccio. and when Dapper first told me about this show, it had a different name. He called it Funny Money. And my first thought in my mind was a bunch of comedians coming up here and attempting to strip and tell jokes at the same time. <laughs> and unfortunately, we don't all have abs and a body like Dapper. So luckily for you guys, that's not the show you're getting. But could you all just imagine just a bunch of comedians coming up here like Magic Mike to Pony, like boom. Boom, boom, boom. Like, I can't even hold the mic and unbutton one button, like, no. However, if that show does happen, I do have a pair of rip-offs and a Speedo, and I have been doing squats, so I will be prepared. Is anybody addicted to anything here? Anybody have addictions? Yeah? Dick sex, okay. Anybody have any other addictions? No? No? What? Amazon, there you go, there you go, me too, me too. Now I don't have like any normal addictions like to caffeine, food, drugs, or even sex, because I guess to be a sex addict you probably gotta be having sex a lot more than I am right now. <laughs> I have an addiction to these shirts by the Roosevelt's. So yes, I got one fan in here, nice. But Steven, the founder, he's like my dealer, and he can read my mind. Like, I'll be there like, I'm not gonna get any shirts this week, I'm gonna be good. And then he drops like a cult classic like Beetlejuice, and I'm like, fuck, I gotta have it. Cause I got that FOMO. Know what FOMO is? It's not an STD, don't worry. Fear of missing out. Yep, so anybody that buys things that sell out quick, looking at my PS5 and my sneaker people, you know what I'm talking about. And recently, yeah, there you go, Steven just announced Turbo Timeline coming. Y'all seen Jingle All The Way? Yeah. Exactly, it's right up there with Die Hard is one of my favorite Christmas movies. If you don't think Die Hard is a Christmas movie, we can talk after the show. Yes! So for a few people that don't know Jingle All The Way, it stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. And the main premise is they're looking for a Turbo Man doll on Christmas Eve because they have wasted the entire time and never bought it for their child. There's one scene where Arnold's like, I'm not a pervert, it's just a turbo man doll. And he's holding this small child. Oh, gets me every time. Put it on your list for Christmas. Put it on your list. But you just gotta enjoy those little things in life. And I'm not talking about your penis, sir. I'm, I'm talking about these, these t-shirts. It's the little things in life that I enjoy. So if you wanna help feed that addiction with my comedy and you like what you see right here, Right here, I wasn't as creative, it's just my name with Cash App and Venmo, so maybe easier on you guys. But with that Amazon addiction and just shipping in general, last year did anybody else have trouble with like the United States Postal Service? Yeah! yeah. Right? Like, there was your estimated delivery which not happened at all. Like, it was all up in here, like, yeah, it gets there when it gets there. Like, I even had Amazon Prime. I'm paying Jeff Bezos for this, and like same day, next day, or two day shipping didn't exist. You're still paying for it, but you didn't get it that way. Like, that's enough to drive anybody postal. <laughs> Mailed it. That joke gets my stamp of approval. Maybe I'll work on the delivery next time. Four mail puns! <laughs> you guys ever wish you could have a superpower? Yes. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Big nuts? Is that what I heard of? <laughs> Most people sure it's like super strange, but all right. It's a sick flex. <laughs> like, so when I was a child, I was like, yeah, super strength or flight would be cool. Now, as an adult, I like sleep way too much. So I would choose the ability to stop time just so I could sleep. Yep, so stop time while I go to sleep and then sleep as long as I want 
Start time again. Boom, loophole, loophole. Don't lose any time. But I do have a real superpower. I have the ability to overthink every single situation in millions of ways that are never gonna fucking happen. Most of us call it anxiety. Yeah, and I recently just found out from my therapist that I've had anxiety my whole life. Like, I guess it's not normal to constantly have stomach pains and worry about every single situation. Yeah, right? I guess it's not normal. Now, bless my mom and grandma, but the, the cure was ginger ale. Oh, you have an upset stomach? Here's some ginger ale. It was like, you know how like Windex is for the Greeks? Ginger ale was that for my family. Upset stomach, ginger ale. I fell off the jungle gyms and broke my arm. Here, have a ginger ale. It's not how it works. Like, you know how much ginger ale would be making if it was like a magic elixir that cured all? We'd be living in Hogwarts. That would be awesome, yes. No muggles here. Now, for people that don't know what anxiety is, I designed some song puns to help give you that situation. Say, oh Lord, oh, just you wait. Here we go. So, anxiety is like getting kicked in the balls over and over, like, you get knocked down, but you get up again, you're never gonna keep me down, and anxiety's like, <laughs> just you wait. Or maybe you're like taking a midnight run and you hear a noise and you're like, I always feel like somebody's watching me. There you go. Or you're over at the club, you've had a few drinks, you're feeling good, you see an attractive woman across the way, you're about to ask her to dance, then your anxiety kicks in, it's like, I'm dancing with myself. <laughs> or one is the loneliest number that there ever was. Or really just waking up any day the last couple of years, it's waking up at the start of the end of the world. Or, it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. However, that's just an internal lie that we're telling to us, because do any of us really feel fine? <laughs> it's like that flagpole sitter song. I'm not sick, but I'm not well. And also, sometimes you wake up in the morning, you have a list. You're gonna accomplish that list. You have a positive attitude. You've knocked one thing out, and your anxiety is like, yet and then guys hey i just met y'all this is crazy here's my venmo pay me maybe i'm brent Lucci. that's my guy guys thank you one more time for brent Puccio.